Now, our next actor is a ukulele playing primary school teacher. And all of her pupils are really excited. I'm really excited. Because they're teachers in the semi final of Britain's Got Talent. No, because it's half term. Oh, it's half term. And a week of school. Yes. Everybody loves a week of school. Isn't that right, kids? It's Abby Carter Simpson. Oh, hey, it's nice to meet ya. My face on your TV screen. By day I am a teacher Try to teach kids what life means As if we know Travel to school by bus or train Cos I can't afford a car Trying to make the kids laugh By telling them jokes On my tiny guitar So he's hoping and fingers crossed This year's the one for me This singing teacher has found herself On the one and only Myself, this is reality. Could be performing on the royal variety, shaking hands with King Charles and his family. Could this be happening to little old me? You see, I tell kids every day, be the best version of you you can be. Follow your dreams, achieve your goals, your future's bright. You see, being on stage is what I want to do, making people laugh with my points of view. So now, UK, it's up to you. Let's see what this last can do. Something's on my mind, yeah. Something's in my head. Stories we've been told as kids, tales that we were read. The idea of a fairy tale, what's expected of our lives. That without a boy to save us, so how could we survive? Now I look back at those stories in 2023 of lasses in tall towers just wanting to be free. But the world we're in is changing, and so these tales must too. I wonder what would these tales be like if they were me and you? So I've been thinking Bruno, my fairy godmother, Alicia, Ariel, Amanda, Belle, and Simon. Well, that just leaves the beast. I wonder what would these tales be like if they were me and you? Let's go! Now Rapunzel lives in a tower block estate with a slightly overbearing mum. And all she kept on singing about was when will her prince come? Then her mate said, Rapunzel, you don't need a man to learn some skills now matter. So she took an online woodwork class and she built herself a ladder. Got down that tower all by herself, she did. Snow White stayed alive by running into seven pretty decent blokes. They said, we'll forgo your rent if you clean and cook us beans on toast. So Snowy packed her bags and handed back the mop and bucket. She looked grumpy dead in the eye and told him where to stuff it. After all, seven pairs of hands are better than one. You know, princesses and princes come in every shape and skin. Not fitting in is standing out, so love that skin you hear. Don't let no one tell don't let no one dull your light and keep the real you shining bright. Cinderella didn't need a fella, she just wanted to go to the ball. Little Mermaid stayed under the sea, ignored her prince's calls. What? Sleeping Beauty stayed in bed for as long as she desired. Cause we're all aware that a little self-care is very much required. Modern princesses everywhere stand up and be inspired. You know, princesses and princes come in every shape and skin. Not fitting in is standing out, so love that skin you're in. Don't change yourself for anyone, just do what you adore. And leave the rest of the world wanting more. And leave the rest of the world wanting more. And leave the rest of the world wanting more. Thank you. Oh, well done, Abby. Well done. That was Thank great. You. Really great. Bruno! Oh, that's my kind of fairy tale. I'm telling you, you're writing is absolutely brilliant. Your comedy, your humor, the way you deliver your sentences, I'm telling you, is more effective than a thousand speeches. That 
is how you make your message effective and entertaining. I loved it. Thank you. Alicia? Yeah, you've got that perfect balance. It's super funny, but really heartfelt with something really important to say. I love the tone of your voice. I loved your first audition. I think you've upped your game today. And you have left me wanting more. I would love to see you in the final. I think you've, you're fantastic. teacher from when you're little they've done a great job and you are one of those inspirational amazing women great message um, and I think for me today even though we heard that you could sing before today you had real power and real fire in you so you did a you smashed it absolutely smashed it vocally as well well I thought your audition was great I thought tonight was incredible Genuinely. Really, I think you came so prepared with a great song. Your voice is amazing. It's so current. Your writing is brilliant. I think you have a genuine star quality about you. And I've changed my mind. This is my favorite performance of the night so far, by a mile, by the way. Thank you, judges. You look a bit emotional. I, I honestly thought you were going to say, I thought that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I feel, yeah, thank you. Okay. All the four comments were wonderful. Yeah, like, yeah. It was a great performance. Can, can I ask, it's half term. Are the kids from school watching you tonight? I am absolutely sure they're watching. So a massive hello to everyone. You're all amazing. Hi, kids. Hi, yeah. kids. You can vote for it after we've seen all eight acts. One more time, though. Abby Carter Simpson. Ah, amazing. Time for a quick break, but we'll be right back with the last two acts of the night. Singer Amy Lou and inspirational dancer Musa Mota. 